another question people tend to ask is should prophecies be given publicly or privately very good question and i'm glad that you asked you see people tend to think that oh why is it that at some meetings some people's prophecies are given in the presence of other people you know it depends on how the spirit leads but from from what i see in scripture and from my experience generally i guess the first thing is that operating in the prophetic it takes the steering of a particular kind of atmosphere uh, worship and and prayer and many things and it is usually when there's a gathering of people that that atmosphere is steered and it is at that point I call it, you know, Wi-Fi. <laughs> that, you know, you, the Wi-Fi is turned on and then we get directions from God. Now, the interesting thing is that some prophecies, when they are, they are very sensitive and God will say, okay, speak into this person's ear or tell them this privately as it were. But interestingly, many of the prophecies, God wants them declared. And it, that is, if you look at scripture, the Bible talks about when in 1 Corinthians 14, it says that when uh, the prophet speaks, let two or three other prophets stay quiet and judge. It wasn't private. <laughs> it, was done, it was done in a place where other people could listen and, and judge it as it were. Of course, there are some things that will be, will be secret and private to that person, but there are some other things that God wants as it were declared there are sometimes i've thought to myself oh lord this is this seems like a private thing and god says no declare it i gave it to you here so that you can declare it so that this can be a warning to others the circumstance with ananias and Sapphira, it was done pub publicly and fear came upon the, you know everyone because it was supposed to be as it were a warning to to the people collectively we also see that in scripture that in the book of acts chapter 21 the bible says in verse 10 and 11 and as we stayed many days a certain prophet named agabus came down from judea verse 11 says and when he had come to us he took paul's belt bound his own hands and feet and said thus says the holy spirit so shall the jews and at jerusalem bind the man who owns this belt and deliver him into the hands of the gentiles in this instance we don't see agabus call paul to the side and say i have a word for you I, I, you know i'm trying to be confidential and discreet he declares it and he declares it publicly of course like i said earlier the prophet needs to be discerning enough and discreet enough to know when god wants him to say it as a whisper and when god wants him to say it on the rooftop <laughs>